So in today's tutorial, I'm going to use Inkscape version 48 to show you how you can create a vector style wood sign sort of logo, similar to what you see here on my screen. And in order to, to do this tutorial, the font I'm using here is called Sand Creek, and I provided a link to it in the description. So just go ahead and click on that, download and install that font before we open up Inkscape, and then you'll be good to get started. So once you've done that, let's go ahead and open up a new document. And this should be your screen. This should be your view when you first open it. We're going to come up here to the Align and Distribute menu. We're going to click on that and open that up. Make sure you have Last Selected chosen from that drop down. And then we're going to come over here to where it says Edit Objects, Colors, Gradients, and Stroke. We're going to click that and open that up. And then we're going to come up to View. Make sure you have Custom selected. And then we'll go to Zoom. And we'll zoom in one to one. And then we'll go to File, Document Properties. And then let's uncheck these two boxes and then close that out. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a rectangle. So come over here to the Create Rectangles and Squares button. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to click and drag across the screen kind of like that and create a rectangle. We're going to turn that red and then come over here to where it says Opacity. Let's slide that in half so it's somewhere in the 50s, something like that. And we'll come up here to where it says Path and then we'll select Object to Path. And then come over here to the Edit Paths by Nodes button. We're going to click on that. And we're going to click and drag over these left two corners right here. And then up here on the top left where it says Insert New Nodes into Selected Segments, we're going to click that twice. So click it once and then twice. And we'll come over here and do the same thing. Click and drag over these two right corners. Click it once and then click it twice. Now let's go over to our magnifying glass. Let's click on that and let's zoom in on this left side right here. You can click and drag on your screen, zoom in like that. And now let's come back over to the Edit Paths by Nodes button. We'll click on that. And let's click on this node right here. And then hold Shift on your keyboard and click on this node right here so you have them both selected. And we'll click and drag. We'll hold Control and click and drag these in about that far. And then come scroll over here to this side. And we're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to click on this one. Hold Shift. Click on that one. Click and drag it in. So it's about... Oops, wrong one. I accidentally clicked on... Okay, you just want these two right here selected. You could do that, hold shift and click on both of those. Hold control, click and drag that into about there. And then press one on your keyboard to zoom back out. And then let's go back over to our arrow over here. And let's click on this and let's right click this and go to duplicate. And we'll turn that black. We'll drop that to the bottom by clicking the lower selection to the bottom button. And come up here to the stroke paint tab. Let's click on that and let's click the blue button and turn that on. And then we'll go to the Stroke Style, we'll click on that tab, and we'll make that a 15-point stroke. So type in 15, hit Enter. Then we'll go to Path, Stroke to Path, Path, Break Apart, Path, Union. And then we'll turn that blue for now. Then we'll go to Edit, Duplicate, let's turn that black. Let's lower that to the bottom as well with that button. Come over to the Stroke Paint tab, we'll turn that on. And we'll go to Path, Stroke to Path, Path, Break Apart, Path, Union. And then let's go back over to our magnifying glasses, click on that, and let's click and drag and zoom in on this left half. And then we'll go over to our arrow, we'll click on that. And let's click on this blue, this blue shape right here. And then hold Shift on your keyboard and click on the black shape so you have them both selected. And we'll go to Path, Difference. And that's going to create a border around our little red plank right there. And press 1 on your keyboard to zoom back out. Let's click and drag over this whole thing. And let's group it together with this button right here, Group Selected Objects. Let's press that and group it. And then let's right click this and go to Duplicate. And then while holding Shift and Alt on your keyboard, click on it a second time. And then come over here to where it says Align, ob align Top Edges of Objects to the Bottom Edge of the Anchor. We're going to click on that. And then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And let's click on this bottom uh, portion right here. Let's right click that and go to Duplicate. And hold Shift and Alt and click it again. And we're going to click that button again. Align top edges of objects to the bottom edge of the anchor. And it's going to give us something like that. Now let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. And let's click on just this one right here. And then hold Control and let's drag this out to about there. And then we'll do the same thing down here. We'll click on this one and then hold control and let's just drag this off to the right a little bit. 
just to give it a little bit of a character, sort of like that. And let's let's click and drag over the whole thing, and let's ungroup it, and then click off of uh, click off of everything to deselect it. And let's go and click on each one of these black borders. Click that, and then hold Shift and click on the next one. And while still holding Shift, click on the next one. So you have them all, all three of them selected. And we'll go to Edit, Duplicate, and then we'll go to Path, Union, Path, Break Apart, and then Path, Union. And let's lower that to the bottom by clicking that button. And let's come over to the Stroke Paint tab. Let's turn that on with the blue button. We'll give that a 20 point stroke. So come over to the Stroke Style tab. Let's type in 2-0 and hit Enter. Then we'll go to Stroke, Path, Stroke to Path, Path, Break Apart, Path, Union. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to come over to the Stroke Paint tab. We're going to turn that on. Then we're going to come over to the Fill tab. We're going to turn that off. And then come over to the Stroke Style tab. And we're just going to make that a 5 point stroke. So we're going to type in 5 and hit Enter. That's going to give us a nice little border around the whole thing. And then we'll go to Path, Stroke to Path. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is uh, you can go and import uh, the image I'm about to show you. Uh, there's actually a link to it in the description. It's a, it's a picture of a piece of wood with a texture over it. Go and click on that image and save it into a folder where you can easily access it. And once you have it saved, we're going to import it into Inkscape here. So we'll go to, in order to do that, we'll go to File, Import, and find that texture. It's called wood3.png. There it is right there. We're going to go to Open and we're going to embed it and click OK. Now let's bring this off to the side over here and the next thing we're going to do now is we're going to create a vector a vectorization of the wood pattern that's on top of this image. So we're going to go to with it selected like this we're going to go to Path Trace Bitmap and we're going to come down to where it says uh, color, color Quantization. We're going to click on that and where it says Colors let's lower this down to 2 and then we'll click Update and it's going to show you a preview in this window right here of what will be created. As you can see, it didn't take uh, it didn't take the the pattern that I wanted to took. It actually took the negative space and turned it black. I want the opposite of that. So we're going to click on Invert Image and click Update. And now it's going to show you these this darker brown pattern going in here. It's going to create a black vector graphic of that right there. So once it looks like that on your preview screen, go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, it's going to create that vectorized uh, texture. And then we can just close out of this menu. And then we can take this new vector image. Let's drop the opacity in half. And let's move this off a little bit. And then let's click on this wood image and let's press delete. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. And then what we'll do now is um, let's click on this wood texture. Let's, go to right, let's right click it and go to duplicate. And then while holding shift in your keyboard, click on this red plank right here and let's center that up uh, on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. And let's click off of the graphic to deselect everything. Now let's click on just the wood texture, hold control and shift and let's click and drag it in to about there. So it's just a little, we want it to be just a little bit bigger than this red plank right here. And we're going to press uh, shift and alt and then click on that red plank so you have them both selected and we'll go to path difference and we're going to do the same thing to the next plank we're going to click on this wood texture we're going to right click it go to duplicate hold shift click on that second red plank let's center it up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis click off of the graphic to deselect everything and then click on just the wood texture hold control and shift and let's scale it in about that much and this time let's flip this Let's flip this uh, horizontally, just so it looks different from the top one. We don't want all three of these to look like they're, uh, they're clone copies of each other. We want them to look like they're unique and different pieces of wood. So once you've done that, hold uh, Shift and Alt and click on that second red plank so you have them both selected. And go to Path, Difference. And then we'll do this one more time. We'll take this one and we'll flip this one vertically and then horizontally and then hold shift and click on the red plank. We'll center it up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis. We'll click off of it to deselect everything and then click on just the wood texture. Hold control and shift and let's click and drag this in to about there. In fact, I'm actually gonna move this up a little bit to about there, sort of like that. 
And then with that wood texture selected, hold Shift and Alt and click on the third, that third red plank so you have them both selected. And let's go to Path Difference. So you should end up with something like that. Now once you've done that, once you've gotten here, let's click and drag over this whole thing and let's go to Path Union. So it's one solid image, kind of like that. Now the next thing we'll do, we'll create our text. So come over here to Create and Edit Text Objects. We're going to click on that. Come and click on the canvas over here. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to write wood. And then I create another word. I'm going to write sign. And once you're done with that, let's go back up to the arrow. Let's click and drag over both of them and come up here to the text, uh, the view and select font family button. We're going to click on that. And we're going to find that font we downloaded called Sand Creek. There it is right there. And we're going to hit apply. We can close that out. And then I'm going to take the width of this right here, this, the width of this, uh, the word wood right here. I'm going to click on this lock icon in the middle, and I'm going to click and drag over the width. And I'm going to hit Control-C uh, to copy that. And then I'm going to click on Sign, and I'm going to come up here. I'm going to erase that and make it the same width by pressing Control-V to paste it in, and then hit Enter. And that's going to make that the same width. So I'm going to right-click over both of them, align them on the left edges. Let's go to Path object to path. Let's ungroup them and then let's go to path union. You could actually turn that red. And then hold shift and let's click on our wooden sign graphic and let's center that up on the vertical axis and the horizontal axis and then click off of it to deselect everything. Now what we can do now is uh, I'm actually going to take this wooden graphic and I'm going to click it a second time to bring up the rotation handles and I'm just going to give this a little bit of a tilt sort of like that just to give it a little bit of an accent you know something unique and then we'll take this uh, we'll take this wood sign wording and we'll click on that hold control and shift and let's click and drag this up to about there and then let's right click on that and go to duplicate we'll turn that black and then we'll lower this one step by clicking the button that says lower selection one step we'll click on that come over to the stroke paint tab we'll turn that on and then come over to stroke style Let's try out a 20 point stroke. Hit enter. Uh, maybe a little bigger than that. Let's try a 30 point stroke. Okay, that works. Once you have that set, come over here where it says join. Let's click this box in the middle to give it a rounded join. And we'll go to stroke, a uh, path, stroke to path. And we'll hold shift and click on our little sign in the background and we'll go to path union. And then you could take this word right here and you could hold shift and then click on that graphic and go to path difference. And you could bring the opacity all the way up and you can color this in however you'd like. You can give it a nice dark wood, uh, dark brown wood type of color, sort of like that. And that's pretty much it. That's how you can create a wood sign uh, sort of um, logo or monogram or whatever using Inkscape version 48. So if you have any questions, just let me know and I'll gladly help you out. And thank you for watching.